Hello guys, welcome to Tarot Predictions people and this will be a Tarot Scope for Leo for July 2017. So without further ado, let's go to the cards directly and the first one covers up the topic and the theme of June which means that what Dio, Leo excuse me, will have to go through and that will be the Eight of Cups upright and the catalyst to this card will be the Queen of Swords reversed. So, Leo, there will be a, a people, I do believe that this is about society of people around you, which are going to convince you during July, or you will have to deal with them in a term of that they're going to convince you that your um, concepts are already old and you do have that borrowed knowledge, borrowed knowledge, you know, that is borrowed beneath. And <clears throat> that's being said through through this kind of conversation may uh, maybe through this kind of empathizement negotiations you may realize that actually uh, your efforts in the past couple of months have been wasted wasted because you can um, achieve much greater success with um, less efforts in different fields thus that will make you abandon a certain situation, certain projects if we're talking about your job, certain activities if we're talking about your relationship here, knowing that a um, your happy future, the happiness in your future does not depend necessarily on them and uh, that if you do waste your energies and uh, your efforts into those necessarily necessary directions then um, it will be kind of like a, a complete waste of time. So in career, these two cards are showing that through careful conversations, probably with the co-workers, colleagues, uh, it will be more than one person here with the reverse queen of Pen queen of uh, swords, I can say. But that is a responsible person as well. There is nothing there suggesting that these people, they will wish you uh, bad things. <clears throat> you may reach to a uh, different solutions to the projects you're dealing with or even though you can decide to drop a particular project anyway that will be a month where you will try to cut off the uh, the, the unnecessary efforts the uh, the efforts which will not pay off afterwards and uh, for relationship as well you are going to cut off the unnecessary activity there which is only placing a giving giving a soil to the relationship for conflicts in these kind of stuff so <clears throat> so far so good Leo we do have these two and now we are going to the next one which is the uh, negativity and the negativity it is about um, confronting the event the, the events in other words putting up a, a particular resistant to to this because that that's a change basically you are walking away from aimless efforts toward a, a different perspective different approach so you can reach the same goal with less uh, with less efforts but the thing is that you will not be uh, very convinced that actually uh, less efforts is the right way to go and that's why you may put a uh, quite of a resistance there you may challenge the events even at all costs no, uh, believing that at a certain point if you time your actions uh, correctly it they will give a, a particular result which will not going to happen so uh, the catalyst here yeah that's the hope that's the star card and uh, I can tell you that if you um, expect a certain let's say help for your previous plans if you don't take under consideration those kind of negotiations here if you do expect a particular help abandon all hope i can i can tell you that so basically with resistance and with conf confrontations um even though you do it peacefully and with detachment is not going to work out uh, well if you try to do it forceful way but if you do challenge the events in other words, test the events uh, for the new approach that is up to come, for the new perspective that is yet to come, then you may have a particular unfoldment of your situation. So, 
for your career guys as soon as you see some truth from this society of people here who is telling you no you're not right you know there is a, a better way how we can do things we all together can do things then if you want to test their method put a, a strong a, let's say a strong test kind of like a forceful test to see if their methods work or not otherwise don't bother and for your relationship that will be as well um, as I said real a realization that the certain routine of the relationship isn't working out and uh, of course there is always a chance of breaking up but here it is not that strong for what I can say that is most likely realization that uh, the relationship basically needs a different approach and uh, even though some of your hopes and dreams will be slayed with it uh, you should not put a resistance to the um, to the newfound approach then it is the positivity out and that will be a, a person here which is around your age or a little bit younger most likely a, a male I can say air sign which speaks that it is a Aquarius Gemini or Libra or it has these ascendant uh, now let me draw the other card quite a ruthless guy I can say that from uh, pulling out the temperance reverse but uh, luckily he acts in your favor so if we're talking about your career guys that will be some or uh, one of those co-workers you have negotiations with and they really know how to how to play their cards right in a term of that they are uh, as I said ruthless and uh, they are always in conflict of interest with somebody else so basically they know how to push things through very decisive people and they um, rather don't do things which they don't like uh, this particular combination also says people that it will be a good time this month uh, July if you uh, take more care for your health than usual uh, in exercises if you want to say it that way in workouts in diets and this kind of stuff so <clears throat> how this is gonna play out for your career with this particular co-worker well basically he will snitch out a particular secret of the competition for you for what it seems people and thus knowing uh, what competition has against you you will be forewarned thus I like to say forearmed for your relationship this particular uh, combination of cards shows that you will have a courage now to make a particular demand uh, and uh, that will be a, a certain demand of compromise of your partner while you are having an easy time to make a compromise so now if you do agree at the start with the new found rules of the relationship if I can say it that way further a little bit further in the future you have an opportunity here to create a particular demand from your partner guys and thus you can um, you can place them under your toe and uh, I, as saying that impression I don't mean that you're going to slumber them you're going to rule upon them like they're particular slaves but you will have a little bit of an edge upon them and last but not least um, we have the reversed king of swords that is the competition here uh, for your career uh, the reverse king of swords it's uh, a man which is also an air sign older than you are well a person I would like to say but most likely a man and uh, which means that it is a um, Libra Gemini or Aquarius or it has these ascendant now this person first uh, first he thinks that he knows it all okay and uh, that kind of suggests that you have a particular success of uh, going um, oh, what is the expression here guys um, going in front of them in the race because they will be cocky pretending that they know everything they they, they actually don't know everything but they have uh, ruthless ambitions so they are people craving for power and uh, let me draw the other card yeah that's the devil well look this person here that you are about to face at the end of the month his 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 ambitions are just are something that he values the most above everything else and for your career that could be um, either your supervisor or as I said a competition who is ready to do virtually everything everything 
to succeed and to win and you have to guard yourself against these people they have no remorse of everything of anything they they don't care how you're gonna end up they don't care if you're gonna end up hurt or if you're gonna end up jobless or if you're gonna end up with a bad reputation they act beneath the uh, beneath the waist they hit beneath the waist the waist they act by pulling hidden hidden strings behind your back so be very very careful also these are people who are um, capable of twisting truths so as well be very very careful guys for your relationship that could be a person popping up third party at the relationship thinking that um, he will have a certain affinity you or your partner will be like a desire of theirs and they will be very cocky thinking that uh, they have won their prize but it is all about mind games here guys and uh, you need to listen to your partner or to your to yourself in other words that if your partner is telling you that um, they will not submit to the to this person then that's the truth but that person may uh, may pretend that it is otherwise so they are also a, a quite good actors so uh, and for uh, if uh, this is you whom that person has their eyes fixed then uh, don't listen to their poison poisonous words because they can really catch you in a net of lies these are people again who can really twist truths and if you fall for their lies guys for what it seems here because we got the devil card you're gonna uh, you're gonna chain yourself basically you're gonna give a, give up your personal freedom so stay if you meet them stay away so that was your taroscope leo for uh, july 2017 and i hope guys it comes helpful to you and if it does please like the video and share it if you can and if you do want a private reading with me you can find me at www.tarotpredictions.net which is also written here in the description of the video if you have troubles to understand me and uh, until then guys see you next time bye